it's been a while since the last update on the Citroen build and it has had various reasons mainly being the web shop is now up and running and you can visit it on tsmc.shop or simply go to the scalemodelingchannel.com a lot of the items used and shown in this video is like the tools the glues various other stuff uh, all around like the paints and all that kind of thing are mostly available in the store if they're not yet there they will probably be there in the near future and if you have any questions about anything feel free to send us an email and we will happily reply to you as soon as possible so for now that's it about the web shop let's get to the build the remaining parts were mainly for the exterior some of the spoilers some of the antennas various other bits all around they simply needed to be cut out of the sprues cleaned up a little bit here and there I applied a coat of primer and then pretty much painted all of them semi-gloss black. The body itself also needed a little bit more attention, specifically the front end. It needed multiple pieces of masking tape in order to mask off the front lip and also some of the hood scoops on the hood itself for them to be painted flat black. So I masked those off carefully, painted it in two different stages. First did the hood, removed that masking tape and then did the front lip before unmasking it all and letting it cure for a bit and moving on to the clear parts in the meantime, which also needed a lot of masking and flat black paint. For the clear parts, there are some pre-cut masks already in the kit for the front windows and the side ones on the inside to paint that black edge or at least the gloss black finish uh, for around the windows. My friend Leslie has created a sheet as well together with my buddy Holger, uh, just creating a couple of templates to make it a lot easier and to complete this set basically. So first I just applied the ones that were supplied with the kit and then applied the ones that Leslie had uh, cut out on his plotter for me for some of the other parts that also need to be macked off just to make this process a lot easier and faster to complete. With the painting side of things completed for now, I could move on to applying the final decals on some of the exterior bits. After finalizing all of the decals, I let those parts sit and cure overnight before I started applying the clear coat. And while I was applying the clear coat anyway, I also finalized the masking on the front section of the body 
for some of these red sections which need to remain in a gloss red and then the gray to be clear coated over with a flat or semi-gloss clear coat. Again, these templates are cut out by my friend Leslie on his plotter together with Holger. They made a set for this. Uh, I'm not sure if it is available, but if it is, please just contact Leslie through his Facebook page. So first off, I applied a flat clear coat as that is how it is supposed to be. But after applying it, it didn't really look right, uh, had a bit of a toyish finish, and it didn't really sit well with me. So then I just missed it over some semi-gloss and that just hit it on the head and looked pretty good in my opinion. Now it's not an identical copy to the actual one-to-one -one car, but on a scale finish, it looked a lot better in my eyes. Viewers beware, caution is advised. I've been a bit stupid and I should have drilled these holes before I even started painting the exterior, but I simply overlooked it in the instructions and had to do it afterwards. Luckily, there wasn't really all that much damage to the paint and decals on the exterior side of things and all of the parts that will go on top of it hide all of my crimes here. So those holes were simply drilled and then left uh, to be drilled for a while while I was moving on to some other parts, simply just gluing it all together and following the instructions step by step. So for the last couple of years, I have been using Bob Smith Industries Super Gold Plus CA glue for a lot of my parts and gluing them together and also for the clear parts. Now I've wanted to test various different other glues out as well, just to see which one works best and if there are some other glues that are more suitable for specific purposes. This time around, I came around to finding Tamiya Craft Bond. This is a clear parts glue. It seems to be pretty strong and really easily removable as well if you mess up or just add a bit too much glue. So that is a lot friendlier than the CA glue that I have been using and might be a better option for some of the modelers out there. It still cures pretty good, also nice and clear and shouldn't harm any of the paint or clear parts either. Now it is of course not as strong of a glue as some of the other glues. It's not a permanent bond so to speak. It does keep the parts together really, really well. 
but I wouldn't use it for every single part on the build, mainly just some of the clear parts or some of the parts that could break off fairly easily and therefore not leave too much damage if it does break off, if you know what I'm saying. So not use it for everything, but it is a nice addition to the stable of glues that I already have and I would really recommend it after using it on this build and I will definitely be using it a lot more on various other builds to come. Fitting the chassis and body together was a bit of a struggle and I did need to trim the inner wheel well on the rear just a little bit for it to fit in perfectly. Nothing major but overall it took a little bit longer and a little bit more pushing and pulling that I kind of wanted to but all of the parts fit together really well so it wasn't really that big of a problem just to give it a tug and a push here and there for them to finally all snap together. The canards for on the front bumper were not perfectly fit to shape. These were pre-shaped, pre-bent by bell kits in the factory and therefore this is pretty much what I had to work with. So I simply just used a little bit of extra glue to keep it in place and stuck there permanently but it doesn't align perfectly with the front bumper but after the curing of the glue had completed you couldn't really see it. Some more final details were added to the wheels. I added a little bit of a wash to create a shadow effect on the lug nuts and also painted that center piece with a red paint to finalize it all and then added the final decals to the front, the windows and all round for it to be finished off completely. In the end off camera I did also paint some of the vents on the inside with a flat black as some of them were simply just painted in body color or some white paint from the chassis completely showed through some of those holes so of course that needed to be hidden I simply just took out a brush and some flat black paint and then painted it all by hand to finalize it and finish it. And with the final decals now applied to the tires, you can call this one finished. Now this has been a pretty long project, a phenomenal build to look at various parts that needed various levels of detail and attention and overall a super well fitting kit which came together pretty easily but it just took a lot of time. Now for me my rally and race car uh, itch has been filled for a while so I will be back to my regular program of street cars and maybe do another race car in the future but this is it for now. Also don't forget to check out my web shop and all of the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.